Who would have ever thought putting a Ford engine in a Chevy? Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. This is your uh, mechanic here, Andrew speaking. And this is going to be the next build that we do. Um, it is a 1996 Bolt Cape MK7, which is also um, supposed to be like a Chevy Impala, the 96 version. And we're going to wash her all up, make it look all decently pretty. Now we're going to wash the body. Wow, look at that. It's a cream puff. Alright, moving back to second car lift. All right, yeah, it's it's a it's a pile right now, but I have a color. It's almost gonna be the same as this, but a little bit different. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip off all these parts because they ain't getting used again. Uh, maybe this one might, but who knows? I put another fender on just so I could get my wheels entire combination all ready for it. And rip off the rear door. This time we're going to rip out the interior first before we start doing anything else. Perfect. Now we're going to go bring over my famous trusty handy dandy welder. Gonna get that taken care of. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go paint some parts while that's doing that. Awesome. Let's head her over here. Now the color combination on this car is going to be blue and white. I think myself, I think it's going to look spectacular. See, that's a nice color blue, in my opinion. But, like I said, my opinion differs from everybody else's. Uh, we're going to leave the body panels alone because I bought all them already. Brick caliper. And yeah, we'll do them this color because, well... The white don't really look all that right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, let's see, we'll do this. This is also gonna be the blue. See, it's a nice pretty blue. Not too bad. A lot better than the last one, that pink one. Holy smokes, that was a bright color, wasn't it? Did I seriously forget to buy the clips? I did. Aww. See, it's always something I'm forgetting. Always something. Clip A, where are you? Right here. Beautiful. I need four of them bad boys. I can actually paint them right now. Ooh, a nice purdy white. Alright, down the line we go. Let's check out. And we're going to be putting a supercharged LS motor, or CGM as the game calls it. Yeah, I'm not putting that on there. That looks all blotchy. So, we'll do it the blue. And white, we'll go with this. Cylinder heads on this. Mm. We're gonna do them. Oh wait, no. So I'll paint the cylinder heads on this motor because, well, they do look all right. Oh, I'm forgetting. Uh, that's the next thing I gotta do. Blue. I guess I could finish the calipers. We got. Uh, I guess I'll finish doing the clip A's. Got a lot of body parts I gotta go on this car yet. Got last clip A. We'll get that all painted up. 
I think personally I think this car is going to look amazing when it's done but I just did the last one that so it's going to be control arm F or cross member F yeah still got that black blotchy or dark colored blotchiness and I'm not really a fan of that I'm going to do the valve covers, they're going to be white. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do the cylinder heads blue just so it's easier to put the push rods in. See that's the color it's supposed to be, right like that, that's a nice pretty blue. the other valve cover uh, kind of not sure yet what color we're going to do the um, springs on yet because this car's got the coil spring rear end in it so I gotta do the front and rear springs we'll figure that out as we go The intake base is going to be white, so we're going to do the fuel rails. Uh, sometimes this is easy, sometimes it's difficult, all depending on what kind of day of the week it is. These are all going to be blue, all these coils. Ah, supercharger base. Yeah, that's going to be white. fuel rail blue mm. actually there's not as many parts I thought or did I forget parts I can't remember I can't believe it's not butter slowly and we're gonna do these first so I mean you can paint these coils but you're limited on what other coils you can paint and yes periodically I have a habit of painting the same part twice Oops. All right, last U bolt. See? Oh yeah, I almost screwed up again. I thought about painting the coils white, but nah. So I try to make the white so it's not so blotchy like all the other colors. I hope it turned out. We'll know for certain when it goes on the car, right? getting there slowly but surely I can't believe it though on how they'd stick the Ford motor inside of a Chevy makes zero sense to me but yet you got the option to put a Chevy motor on it I don't know I didn't design the game so
I just operate it. See, Axel's blue. Um, maybe I'll do the coil or the springs chrome. Hmm. Very possible. Again, in my opinion, it looks good. Other people may have a different opinion of it, but eh. I'm the one who's doing all the work. Most people don't realize is it's not as easy to choose colors for a vehicle as people think it is. Uh, supercharger has got to stay chrome. Uh, the base is going to be white. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna do it this color. Pretty sure now everything else is gonna be blue. Let's just double check. I got the coil springs. I got a er, coils. I got to paint the transmission. Uh, this is probably gonna go green if I do it blue yet. So might just leave that yellow. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna do this white. All right, now everything else should be painted blue, if I'm not mistaken, minus the obvious. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna paint the tranny white. Yeah, that is bright. Wow. That's just as hard on me as the pink is. Alright, all the coils are done. Finally. Now we worry about these. Got the leaf spring plates done. I can do the... I completely bypassed the coil. Axle, didn't I? Yeah, oh no, I got it. Okay, cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh, um, you know what, we are going to paint these white. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Then everything else is done as far as I can tell, minus the shocks and the springs. Which I don't believe I bought the rear springs. Now well, they're not going to look chrome, they're going to look more silver, but they'll still look good when in the end when they're on the car. Now, rear springs. No, I never bought them, so we're going to do that right now while I'm thinking of it. I need two of these bad boys. Ah, there they are. Yeah. 
Hello, Mr. Spring. Where are you? There you are. Kind of looking more like a silver, aren't they? Huh. And just so everybody knows, the silver color is actually chrome. See? Yeah, I like to spice it up a little bit, you know. I can do the rear shocks. And then we can go assemble the motor. I'm pretty sure I have everything to assemble it. Don't understand why you can't paint the supercharger. I really do not understand why. But who knows? Okay. Time to head into the engine shop. And because it's a push rod V8, it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, Crank in, crank caps, piston. Now, are these hemi pistons? Yes, they are. Perfect. I did get the right ones. I didn't mess up this time. Thankfully, the rod bolts. Are little ones, so it won't take as long as what the other ones are. And I also didn't buy the power steering pump because I did not know what it was. That's just being honest, but because the alternator. Is chrome, we're going to start leaving the power steering pump chrome. So you know I mean? Little bolts. Just little. This should help me get this done just a tad bit faster than normal. But I don't make too many screw ups. Yeah, I'm prone for accidents, so. Holy smokes, that is bright. But I like it. Hope y'all like it, too. Did I paint the cylinder heads? I can't remember. It's been a long day. Alright, now it's time to flip this guru over. And first things first, we install the camshaft. Now when we put the push rods in, they ain't going to fall right to the bottom of the motor. Into the oil pan. Dang, I got a few of them. I think it's time I empty out my warehouse again. Or empty out my parts selection. Oh yeah, the white with the blue actually looks pretty good, actually. Ooh, I did paint it. Nice. Now that I do both cylinder heads or do I only do one? I don't remember. But here we go. Putting all these push rods in. I'm building these overhead valve engines. This is what takes them longest, is putting all these in. Thankfully, when I go to the store to buy the parts for it, there's only one set of push rods you can get for this motor. And there's three, four, five different variants of this engine. You got the regular CGM, you got the super supercharged CGM, and then you got the 
both regular and supercharged for the rear engine vet or the Reptilia R8 or R6. I can't remember what it is. I got one outside. I kind of don't really want to rip it apart because it actually runs. Bought it from the car auction. In my opinion, I overspent on it, but I tend to do that if I like something. You know what I mean? How hard it is to see on the white. You got the green outline, but you take that away and you can't see no outline or nothing unless you go down like so. That's why I say I don't recommend ever doing the fuse box in white because it's just a pain to see. Alright, now we put the plugs in. Uh, duh. Cat. I know I didn't pronounce those correctly, but whatever. It is what it is. Almost like it's something supposed to be down here, huh? Maybe that's where the. No, that wouldn't make sense. Oh well. Oh, so I did do both uh, cylinder heads. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. contrast in there we'll say hope you all like the Ford pick em up truck video front of the motor, put the top hat for the supercharger on, put the throttle on, and this thing's done, finished, ready to rock and roll. Last plug right here. I mean, I don't understand why I can't paint that. Paint every other darn thing on this motor. But that and like the arm, why can't I paint the arm? You can do it on a on a Mopar, on the 440s and the Hemis, but for some reason you can't do it on this. Heck, the final why. Oh, excuse me, I had a sneezer there. Crankshaft pulley on. Now the belt. Uh oh. I think I forgot a belt. Yeah, I did. Gosh darn, I'm always forgetting something. I'm special. Alright, where are you? Right there. Perfect. Should have known better. I got two LS motors in my driveway. Put the outer roll at A on. And as far as I can tell, this bad boy's. Oh, wait, forgot the throttle body. There we go. Alright, that one's done. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I'm gonna put you back. Jack you up to the moon. As we do, as that goes up, we're going to move this over to the car. We're going to 
take out the drive shaft. Oh, the drive shaft's already out. Oh, I take out the starter first. Brand new one because I tried to get it running earlier and it just did not want to run. Wouldn't even turn over. Alright, we do that. And we do this. And we'll take out the exhaust worker way rearward. I gotta drain the oil out of this too. I forgot to vote that. Like this car was fairly complete considering I got it. Oh, I got it at the auction. So yeah, most cars that come from the auction are complete. Oh, that could be a reason too why I didn't want to start. Fuel pump is dead. All right, now we're gonna lower her back down, and yank that motor out. Oh wait, I gotta drain the oil out of it first. Nice and clean, considering. Definitely ain't looking too healthy up there, that's for sure. I'm gonna put it back. And since we're here, I may as well put the shocks together, or the struts, I mean. Kind of weird. Like I said, I already did the wheels. They are right here. They are going to be chrome. Alright. Don't forget guys, the ones who are watching my videos that aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. Helps me out, and then that way then eventually I can get better equipment and start producing better quality videos. Because as it stands right now, I'm doing this with a PS4 console and a headset. No fancy equipment, no nothing. So. I'm putting out most more videos than what most YouTubers that have been on here for years put out. So, because I get burnt out playing these all the time. Me, on the other hand, I can play this. I can do this forever, not get tired of it. Look at my money. What does that tell you? I started at full grain. I built it into what it is. So. And I only started about two weeks ago, so I think I'm doing not too, too bad. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost nothing. And if you also like and share it, it helps the algorithm, which means more people get to see it. On to the front. Uh, oh yeah, I was supposed to pull the motor. Actually, actually I'm going to do that right now. Before I pull that cross member. So I don't need the motor falling through. Get rid of this Ford junk out of here. Ooh, that looks pretty nasty under the hood. Take off this front tire. Ooh, me stuck bolts. Rotor. And let's go. Give me the rotor. The hub. With a stuck bolt, like usual. Dust plate. Or dust shield. First, we gotta take out the sway bar link, the strut, the tie rod, and the 
inner tie rod, lower control arm. Now we do the knuckle. And doesn't look like there's any other bushings except for this one. Cool. I'm going to take this tire off and we'll repeat process 1 through 8. Dang, that rim was shot. Holy. Eh, we don't need this. Eh, we don't need these either. They can go bye bye. Steering rack, goodbye. Door controller, goodbye. Hey, no, 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 no. There we go. Now we take out the dust cap, wheel bearing, caliper, the brake pad, the rope tear, the dust shield. Oh, wait, hub first. Yay, no stuck bolts. This, and then this, and then that. And from this distance, it looks good. Alright, I've already taken the liberty to buy the exhaust components that I'm going to need for it. Oh, well, I'll finish the rest of them when I get over that way. Ooh, that looks so much nicer out here. It really does. The color white goes good with any of them. So. Did I paint these? Yeah, I did. I mean, it's supposed to be chrome, but it looks silver. Oh well, it is what it is. Now, did I buy rotors for it? Of course not. Why would I ever do something crazy like that for? Uh, you know, let's go with these ones. They look like they could be a good match for the car. Pads definitely fit pretty good. Oh yeah. Freaking exhaust pipes coming up the yin yang. Hey, well, you know, I can do the exhaust completely from back here. Huh! They call me Stretch Armstrong. First things first, I'm gonna jump over here, put this shock on. Now I'm gonna do the spring cap, the spring, and the other shock absorber cap. Now I finish building the rest of the exhaust. Er, rest of the exhaust. Hello, I'll be okay tomorrow, maybe. Hey, get back over there. I didn't tell you to leave yet. Now, question is, am I going to have enough bushings to do it? Oh, that's not. Let's go with the new one. We don't want to use the old junky stuff. That's why we're taking it off. One of these days, i got to finish that Mutang over there. Get it out of my shop. It's taking up space. Yeah, no, we don't want that one. We want this one. There you go. Now we're gonna stretch arms from our way over here to put the bushings in. Uh, I'm gonna 
gonna put this in. I'm gonna put that in. Put this on. Run myself all the way over to the other side. Wow, I would have never gotten that bushing. Luckily, I only need what six more. Oh yeah, we got lots. Now we put the spindle on. Take the spindle off. We shake it all around. new parts going at the hood of this car it's gonna look real good when I'm done. Got the wheel on this side and this side's done. We got nice calm. Doesn't it look pretty? I think it looks I think it looks pretty. Uh, we start on this side. Knuckle, tie rod, lower control arm. The strut and the sway bar link. After this one, I gotta head home. Sweep the lights up too. I've been in the shop now for a couple days. Probably gonna be in the doghouse. Ah, did it again. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. That actually looks good. Perfectly wide enough so it just barely sticks out past the, the wheel well. Should be the same on the front. Now I've already taken the liberty of bu buying the interior, so we're going to put that in right now. I think we'll go with the factory steering wheel, a little bit different. That was one of my favorite ones over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cost. Gonna cost me some money, fifty. Yeah. Uh, here's the other fifty. Yeah. Here's another fifty. Oh, look at that! I'm just, I'm just giving giving everybody money. Fifty dollars, so it's an additional two hundred. Now I don't need to change the battery because I already know the battery is new. I put that in and try to get the car started, but see, if you look down there. Bottom left corner is 100%. Now another issue I was having was this is probably done. Yeah, that's only like what 7%. And then this, there's a bunch of uh, blown out ones in this. I got A, both A's are gone. Those, one of those is my starter relay. The B's are gone. And the C would start, but that one's gone. Eh, that one would work, and so would that one. Uh, radiator, and I'm pretty sure we're basically done after this. I already own that fan, because I bought it for the last truck that we did. Oh, we've got this. Pull these clips off. Alright. 
time for assembly. So nice how they put the color that I'm looking for up front. Didn't have to go searching halfway through the list for it. That was a beautiful thing. Put the radiator in. Now the fan, and the fan housing. Alright, now we'll work our way over here. And of course, you know, I gotta put in the up upgraded ECU. Help our achiever max potential. Now, as far as I know, I have all the fuses and relays I'm gonna need, so. Keyword being as I should. Even this blue is a little bit difficult for some of these, depending on the way the light hits them. The light will blend it right in. So, yeah. Alright. Last relay, or fuse. Which I need to buy more of. Of course I do. Oh, too far. Right here. Gotta buy 50 of them. <laughs> Good for 50 cars. That's the way I'm looking at it. Cover on. Uh, put power steering reservoir in. Coolant tank. Much washer fluid. All right, we're. Oh wait, forgot something. Over here, there you are. All right, now we're ready for the motor. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. Oh. I see the oil I put on that thing didn't help. Still making like a window glass cutter cutting glass. Look at that. Ooh, that's nice. Put some in here. done. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Slop, 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 slop. Should be enough. Let's get her going. Throw her on the dyno. Actually, maybe we'll put her on the dyno before we bring it in the paint booth. Since you don't need no body panels for that. You do, however, need to make sure you don't have no bloom bushings. Or not that, like, missing. Track hole on me on there with no body panels, door not on, no seatbelt, no nothing. But, whew, don't forget that bushing. Alright, we got that, we got that, we got that. Last piece of the puzzle right here. And we go under the car, put the transmission drive shaft in. Send her to the dyno so I can make my thousand plus horsepower. Yeah. Fancy. Gotta put my tranny and my drive shaft in. Hello, Mr. Moto. It's also party. Um. Oh, it's on the other side. Duh. I'll figure this stuff out next week. Two bolts to hold that in. 
Now we drill shift. And we should be good to go. Let's give it a wheel alignment first. Let's see if it's actually going to start. Oh, what a rumble. Alright, I'll give it an alignment. It's a little off, not bad. Got pretty close, actually, when I was putting the parts on. Look at that, perfect. Almost like... Almost like I knew what I was doing. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'm cheating the system, man. Gotta put me old headlights in. Really? I couldn't even line them up perfectly without the bumper on? I carumbo. Well, that was close. Oh no. That hurt the ankle. Alright, to the dyno we go. Now what I'd like to see is what the percentage is before I hit the, the start button. Check out the ECU computer. Four and a half percent. Nine percent. Perfect. Let's go, f let's go all the way. Go big or go home, right? See? Supposed to have 680, 620. That'll probably be around 1230-ish, I hope. Twelve ninety. At sixty three hundred RPM. And 11.48 at 5300 RPM. Cool. Eh, since we're here, we may as well put the body panels on before we bring over with a paint. Put the front bumper on, the hood on. Windshield. Door glass. Why did I put that door on? Hmm. I'm doing things not even realizing I'm doing it. Why did I put that door on? I don't know. See, you could also call this car a 90s Caprice if you really wanted to. They're all on the same chassis platform, so. Mirror, fender, headlights and bumper are on. That side's done. Dang, that, that looks sharp. Awesome. Now we move you to the paint swoop. Nah. 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 Oh yeah. Ah, I can't remember if this car has any deliveries at all or anything. I really cannot remember. Oh, it does. Look at it. Want to turn it into a cop? Nah. Sheriff? Nah. I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm pretty sure, minus the... Oh, I put it back in the dyno, didn't I? Son of a gun. Let's put you out front. See, there's my vet right there. It'll be one of these episodes. 92, 100, 100, 100. It's 92 because I don't have license plates on it. But however, folks, thank you very much for watching. Please, please, please like, share, and subscribe. And... I shall catch you in the next one. Hope you all have a good day. Have a good day. Bye-bye.